Good afternoon guys, Apollo Creed here. Hope you're all well on this Sunday. Just come on to post a video about this guy. Um, Honestly, seen him now and again over the last few months. Spoke to a lot of people from Newcastle about him. See what this guy's all about because honestly, it's getting a little bit ridiculous now. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's talk sense. You've got a man here who sits in a shed, 60 odd year old. Claims he was somebody from Newcastle. Did a documentary with uh, McIntyre. Watched the documentary. <sighs> my God, this guy's something wrong with him, isn't there? I I thought he talked a lot of pony then, but my God, look at him now, all these years later. I remember him sat on that documentary saying um, he was gonna he was off license now, and they say he's better watch out. And what did he do? Nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing. He just chats. He's always been known as a fringe person. He's just a chatter. You know what I mean? It's it's quite sad, really. Uh, boils down to a lot of stuff. What I want to point out is uh, this man, which is, um, he'll admit himself now, because he has to, had child pornography on his computer. Child pornography on his computer. And then said it was spam. Now, have any of you guys out there, let's be honest, downloaded child pornography and said it was spam. Have you ever, have you ever had any come through as spam? The answer would be no. So ask yourself why has he got it on his computer and then said it's spam. I think we all know why, don't we? And this guy used to run buses for children back in the day mm, to go on trips. But anyway, yeah. But look at the wrong in himself, which also goes into it. They say birds of a feather flock together. Now he was had cookie as his admin. Why have Cookie as your admin? Because as soon as you fell out with him, you turned around and said that Cookie was a child abuser. That's what you said. And that he was into that and it's all known around the West End, you say. All right, so what were you doing with him as your admin when you well, you already knew that? You know what I mean? But when you fall out with him, you call him that. But you were happy to have him as your admin. Very strange. Decker Heggy, be him a wrong or not a wrong. You go on and you're his mate. To try and get your message out there. So you've got no problem with hanging around as wrongins as long as they're doing what you want them to do. Same with Tony Burkett. Google Anthony Burkett from New York, read into that fella. And also, there's recordings of Anthony Burkett admitting that he's had alleged grape allegations made against him. See the pattern here? Very, very strange. Now, this man sits in his shed and just chats absolute pony in bubbles 24 7. This is some of the claims he makes. There's his name's being used in court all the time. He's getting accused of murders, he says, all the time. And he also knows where bodies are buried 100%. But the police aren't interested in him. And he has to sit in his shed where his missus tells him to go because she's clearly had enough of him because all he does is sit in the shed and she wants nothing to do with it. And he just sits there bleating rubbish. And the main cause of this guy is cannabis. Now, cannabis can be good for some people, medically, this, that, and the other. But this guy is clearly suffering from psychosis. Psychosis is one of the main things that can be caused by cannabis. And he's got it, you can tell. Comes up with fantastical things constantly, con and consumed by himself. He's crazy. He's crazy. He lives on YouTube, and that's all he can ever do. He's a disgusting bum. And now uses cop outs like I've got a hernia, so I can't fight anyone. Mate, you're a joke. You like them flabby faced blokes who sit in the working men's club in the corner, chatting pony, and then when people come in see you and they're like, oh no, not him again. That's what you are, Paddy. You're like, oh no, not him again, eh? Dear me, lad, you need to get a grip. It'll not be too long till you see him round shopping centres just carrying bags outside like a little old bag lady. Nothing in them. Something wrong with you, mate. You need to get a grip of yourself. Paddy's supporters, feel free to come in because none of you know him. You just sit there. Just... <laughs> just getting involved in the pony and listening to the absolute drivel. Psychosis head there. But, uh, yeah, something needs to be done. By people. He just talks absolute pony saying this and that. And he's, he's just shocking, lad. Shocking. Just had to make a video about this flabby faced man today because it's sad. Have you ever heard anyone go on like that in my life? Pathetic laugh. <laughs> anyway, uh, Apollo Canadian, voice of the common man. Take care, guys. Speak soon.